Hey guys, it's Alex from Disciples here today with Tristan Pugh, who got top four at the LCS 3v3 this weekend. Uh, hi Tristan. Hello. How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. How are you? Uh, are you happy with your result this weekend? Oh, definitely. Um, I did not expect to get this far. The originally it was going to be a different team. Um, it was going to be me, you, and then uh, David Flores. But when Luxury announced the prize support, nobody wanted to play anymore. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then Nesh came in and saved the day and uh, the people did some things. Playing. Yeah. All this of certain ways that we can uh, do stuff and make the pricing better. So, last minute, Herman asked me to join his team because his third team he decided not to play either. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then we just joined a group chat really quick, showed our decks, and we we're like, "Yep, yeah, vibes. Vibes. Looks good enough. Yeah, straight vibes. Got top four. <laughs> it's all good." Yeah, uh, exactly. He was a bit mad. Yeah, I think we would have been the screws because we didn't really even talk about our decks and oh, stuff. Okay. Definitely not, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, why Zoo? If you can hear me. Um, okay, so, like, originally I've been playing Luralusk, but I have had my eyes open to Zoo's just being better. It's a, small, it's a more compact engine. Um, all of them are, like, good cards to draw. Like, Barrage is an extender. Um, if you get Lance here, you just make a Dryden that set traps. Um, Obviously, you still get access to Borgo Zeus. Um, yeah, just it it just feels a lot cleaner. You don't get you don't get like weird ones like without extenders. The Zeus are just all good to draw. And then you get to play Desires as well, which is very very good. Oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. And it also just like sets up Revolt as well, pretty efficiently. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's definitely a big point. Uh, so. Moving on from that, why did you decide to focus more on trap cards? Uh, you're playing like 12 in your deck. Yeah, so we're playing a lot of trap cards. Because, um, and going second against like a lot of decks, you don't really need hand traps to like win. Um, against Dragon Link, it's just like 50 50 and, tra and hand traps aren't like guaranteed versus them either. Uh, going first, if you have like Tasmanian Nibiru against like random rogue decks it's not very good either mm. so we just decided to make our matchup as good as possible going first while the traps are still like playable going second especially into control no, that makes sense especially like, like Revolt Revolt is like the best card in the deck as well yeah it's really good. it just gives you like infinite follow up and does stuff as an interrupt yeah exactly like if you like half break a board or like you break a board but don't set up a very good board you can set a couple of traps it's a lot easier to win as well Rather mm. than just hand trap. Uh, so how was talents in your deck? Um, so I didn't put a lot of thought into playing talents. It was just the fact that any time I played against someone and they had talents, it just feels like you can't win. Like if they start a combo, then you hand trap them, and then they go talents to show hand, you just, you just can't win that game ever. Um, and it happened so frequently that I decided that just makes sense to play the most unfair card of the former. Mm. So it came up quite a lot. It's very good going second into like Dino or like if they don't break your board and you have like some follow up and you have talents, it's super easy to break their board. So you just take mm. the UCT. Um, it's good going second into Dragonlink because it just forces a disrupt. Whereas like this deck can't really do a lot of that. Yeah. It just has like, it literally just has two ways to play most of the time. So you need your other cards to actually force the disrupts. But yeah, very, very happy I played talents. It came up a lot. Uh, so, looking at side deck, um, how was that for this event specifically? Um, the side deck was a bit of a mess. Um, a lot of it changed sort of last minute, um, but I was pretty happy with it overall. I definitely felt like there wasn't enough for Dino because like my only losses were to Dino. Hmm. Uh, maybe should have had like a Lancia or a different Dimension Ground in there somewhere just because it's a target for Trap Trick. Hmm. Um, Alpha and Alpha Phantasma and Nibiru definitely overperformed. I didn't think they'd be good into dragon link uh like i nibiru's dragon link and then like summoned an alpha and it's just not possible to lose anymore like phantasmate or nibiru and then phantasma it's just not possible to lose anymore like any combination of those two cards makes it very very easy to win just because they're huge as well so you just 
don't get Nibiru on your turn because you've already got like 6,000 damage on board with like two of them. Um, Alpha alone is very good into the Dragon Link board as well just because it deals with two interrupts by itself. And it's a beast, so when you do bounce it back, you can discard it for Keras. It's very, very good. And it's good into the mirror as well, which I expected there to be a bit more of than usual. It's been picking up popularity. Um, Twin was as good as it can be, I suppose. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think I don't think it like would have been better as Cosmic or Storm. Um, it's like the only card that seems like maybe cuttable on this list. I guess Judgment too, but I know there's a lot of like Dino and like Go Second decks with like Storm and Dark Ruler that Judgment is kind of necessary. Mm -hmm. So it could maybe cut Twin for different Dimension Ground and then just like outgrind combo decks naturally. But Twinder is a bit of annoying. So decided to just play something pretty safe. How was the uh, matchup versus uh, Prank Kids and Shadow decks then? Um, I actually didn't play a single Prank Kids the whole tournament. I oh. also only played one, uh, one doll deck, and that was a blind second deck, so it wasn't really a doll deck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Every single matchup. Uh, so I played one, two, three. I played four Dragon Link. Mm. And I beat all of them. Yo. Um, I played. Three Dino. Two of them were Gabe Nets, who's in uh, finals as we speak. Um, one of them I won, one of them I lost. It's just like, I don't know. Sometimes they draw really good, sometimes you draw Imperial Order. <laughs> and then one's the other one we lost, but um, in hindsight, probably would have been winnable if we played optimally. Yeah. Um, and I played Virtual World, um, and that was, that was a match I probably should have lost, but he did everything in his power to lose. <laughs> it took the only way we could win, and <laughs> it worked out. And it worked out. And then, yeah, the, the last deck we played was a blind second Dogma Doll deck, which, I don't know, didn't, like the Super Poly and stuff didn't really do a lot versus this, whereas versus like a normal um, Lyralus Brigade deck, it would have done a lot more. Yeah. And then trap cards are just... They just carry, good. yeah. They have to deal with monsters and then also traps and follow. Uh... Yeah, that makes sense. So, your loss was... Uh, to... Only losses were to Dino. Yeah. Um, we lost to Gabe in a uh, four. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so, have you got any shout-outs to end this off? Um, yeah, shout-out to Herman, of course. He pretty much carried the team. He went undefeated the whole event. It was crazy with Pure Zoo. Uh, shout out to Ivan for playing Eldritch cards and making us realise that we should never play Eldritch cards ever again. Um, shout outs to the Disciples, of course. Shout outs to Waff. Shout outs to Lumberjack on DB. <laughs> okay, guys, that's going to do us here while my PC dies. Um, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, as well as following all of our socials in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsors at The Brotherhood Games, Metamat, and Card Market down for high quality products and one of the best tournament organisers in the UK. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.